y'all might want to start picking up your Bibles and reading it because it's starting to make a whole lot more sense. And when a company calls their next project Prometheus Hyperion, well, you know it's not just another server farm. And this is exactly what Mark Zuckerberg and Meta are doing. They are going full deity mode here. They are not investing millions of dollars, billions of dollars. They are investing hundreds of billions of dollars. And we need to talk about it. Welcome to the API for everyone daily brief. This story is interesting on multiple fronts, especially because of the imagery that's involved here. But Mark Zuckerberg announced that they are building a fleet of these super AI super clusters. Think of them as these large computer networks that are solely designed, super high powered to train advanced AI models. Now that's interesting enough, but now let's talk about the imagery behind all of this. He is naming this first one Prometheus. If you're not familiar with that name, we are talking about a Titan of Greek mythology. And Prometheus was known to be super intelligent and a champion of the people. So much so that Prometheus stole fire from the gods and passed it down to humans to his peril because Zeus was very upset with him and punished him. Now, what makes this interesting is when you hear Prometheus, what people think of, fire, trickery, and the creation of humankind. Yeah, you heard that right. So this is man creating a god to be a god and naming it after false gods. You can see where I'm going with this. But wait, there's more because there's another one called Hyperion that's being built. This one is designed to scale up to five gigawatts of power. And my understanding is that's as much as some small countries use in power. So a lot is, is what we're saying here. Now, Hyperion, we go back to Greek mythology again. This is the Titan of light and is known as being the father of Helios, the sun, Selena, the moon, and Eos, the dawn. So, do what you want with that information, but it sure does sound like we are humans creating a God to become a God. And I'll just leave it at that. Meta's even taking it even higher than that because they have launched a new elite research unit. This is called Meta Superintelligence Labs. They are promising that they will have by far the greatest compute per researcher in the industry on planet Earth. And it's clear that Mark Zuckerberg is really hell-bent on making this happen because they just put $14 billion investment into a company called Scale.ai, and they went on a major poaching spree, grabbing talent, top minds from other companies like OpenAI and bringing them over to Meta. Why this matters. We need to be paying attention to who is going to take the lead, who's going to win, in this AI arms race. Because understand, this is not about speed. This is about dominance. What Mark Zuckerberg and Meta are doing right now is not about making a better or faster chatbot. It's truly to create this intelligence empire. And he's in steep competition when it comes to Google's Gemini and Anthropic's Claude and Microsoft and whatever Apple's not doing. And of course, China, who's only maybe three three months behind where we're at, and we're definitely in this arms race as it continues forward. Because in this whole industry, power is not a metaphorical thing. This truly is going to shape the future. And you can see that in the way that Zuckerberg is naming these things. He truly is looking at this as the next chapter of humanity, that we're, we're evolving to whatever this next level is that we're coming into. Whoever controls these super intelligent clusters, whoever controls the power, whoever controls all of this stuff will control how all of this takes shape. And if you're not paying attention to this, if we're not involved in it in some way, it look, even just from a mental health standpoint, you're going to go nuts. I really want you to go and look at something called AI 2027. I'll do a longer video on this in the future. But the website AI-2027 
2027.com. It's a great study about some different scenarios and different things that are going on with AI. And if you take the time to really look at that and soak it in, you'll start to see why my videos are as much of a warning as they are that we need to use it. Um, because the chips, the data, the energy, look, these are the new battlegrounds and Meta's just planting their flag and they're saying, we're here, we're competing and uh, let's see where the chips fall. So how does this impact you? Well, if you run a business, lead a team or advise clients, I mean, here's the hard truth. You have to keep up with AI. This is not a software trend that's going to go away. This is a whole new infrastructure layer over everything that we do. These are going to be the tools we use, the systems that we rely upon, the way we reach customers. It is going to be the complete future here. So whether or not you care about Meta, that's really irrelevant because this affects you. This is the power balance of what is going to happen with the internet, with search, with how people find you, how they buy from you. And it's happening very quickly. And your strategies, whew, they're going to have to move at the speed of light because things are only going to get faster and weirder. So what are three things that you can do right now when this video is over? Well, number one, track the infrastructure players. Like definitely keep in the loop, set your... AI agents to go out and get news on these companies or set up your Google alerts or whatever you do to get your news. Make sure that you're getting all of that in. And I'm talking about companies like NVIDIA, Meta, OpenAI, Scale AI, Anthropic, and keep abreast to what's going on with the new releases. And of course, we can't leave out Grok because it's starting to become what I thought was kind of a joke is turning into a very legitimate platform. Tip number two, audit your dependencies. It seems like every single platform now is starting to integrate AI in some way, shape, or form, and some are really focused on becoming AI first. So you might be using a lot of different AI and not even realize that's what you're doing or your employees or some people on your team. So one, it's very important to audit every tool that you use and see what changes have happened over the last six months to a year, how much AI is getting integrated and what AI are they using? And this is where training and ethics and everything comes in and why this audit is so important because you might be opening up yourself to different liabilities that didn't exist before as all this gets pushed out. So just make sure you know who's powering whatever tool it is that you're using. And tip number three, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing videos covering all of these stories, all of these companies, everything that's moving. I'm committed to this a thousand percent. And I want to make sure that each and every one of you that I can reach, that I can help not get left behind. And if we got to somehow bail and go underground, well, let's build that tribe too. Oh, and one more thing. Come here. Look, this video, what I'm doing here, this isn't hyperbole. This is not even to scare anybody. This is truly to create some awareness around what is going on as this change continues to move forward. I think this is the greatest time in history to be alive. We are going to see some amazing things over the next decade, but it is going to be a bumpy road to get there. So my question to you today is what are you most excited about that AI could solve or bring to the table, whether that's globally, locally, or just for you or your business? I would love to hear your comment in the comment section. That's it for me today. I hope this created some value for you that you learned something today. Please subscribe, like, get in the comment section and let's build this community out. Well, my name is Harrison Painter. This has been your AI for Everyone Daily Brief. And until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and most importantly, keep up. God bless. Thanks for listening. I'm glad you stayed. One more spark for the plans you've made. Show it, go share the vibe. Like, subscribe, let's build this tribe.